Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Happy Just Mar. Back with more tea, back with another read, and we're gonna go right in, say jar space, and see what is going on with my water family's Pussy Spencer Scorpio. Let's see what's going on, family. High power, archangels, ancestors, guys and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom, always and forever. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now with that being said, let's tap in, okay? So family, I want to do something a little different, okay? I want to get message from your ancestors. I want to get love. Um, and I also want to get career, okay? So, message from your ancestors, love and career. What cards I want to do for career? Expect their gadget energy. We are starting off with Pisces. Expect their gadget. I don't know. You could be investigating something or looking into something. Something might have something to do with court or spiritual court. Um, testimony, therapy. Ceremony. Um, one of those could be significant here. Mm. Okay, take it hot. It may resonate. Let's see. Career, career, career. Let's do, let's just use the kipper. Okay, let's just use the kipper for career. I might have to order some specific career cards, in which I want to do what I wanted to do, anyways. Um, so first off, let's see. What do your ancestors want you to know at this time? My family, let's see. High five. What do you know, want my, um, <clears throat> what do your ancestors want my family to know at this time? Okay. Good luck. Something is going in your favor here. You get in, um, some type of good luck. A stretch of faith. Something's a stretch here. Or maybe you feel like something's a stretch. Uh, maybe you would not have ever ever guessed something in the millionaires in millionaires. Damn, the veneers. Something with somebody's teeth. Veneers. Uh, some of y'all you might want to get your teeth done. You finna get it. You finna get them motherfuckers done. Um, I'm also hearing like I always I almost was gonna say like millionaires are um pioneers. Millionaire, some of y'all you finna some some something's finna come through for you. The four of wands. Okay, so yo your ancestors want you to know there's something coming as far as commitment, unity, um coming together, strengthening bond strengthening strengthening some type of bond, some type of collaboration, something that's tight knit here, something that's secure, something that's um financially stable or something that is not going nowhere. Like something that's it's it's solid, something solid. I'm here solid as a rock. Da, 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 da. Somebody might be um getting into a relationship with somebody that might have a lot of money. And that's why I'm hearing veneers again. Somebody might if somebody might be getting their teeth done. Somebody gonna have a nice ass smile. Or or this has happened to you already here. Somebody could be dealing with a, a Leo, a feminine Leo. Somebody likes to look good. Okay. Somebody likes to look good, get their their hair done, nails done. Okay, baby. Somebody likes to be laid and slayed, dipped okay and whipped okay um i'm not getting a materialistic person i'm just getting somebody that likes to look good and know they look good okay somebody likes to take care of their skin take care of their body take care of their health um your ancestors is saying that you are going to meet a spouse that is the same way as you and this person is going to provide um <clears throat> this person is going to provide for the house this person is going to make sure you're happy whatever you want you get here i'm giving this i'm getting this is a loving connection here but see I'm getting okay, so let's see what this is because I feel like this is not just with love because this is supposed to be what your higher power wants you to know. Maybe this is something you prayed about, something that you wanted. Okay, this this has something to do with security. Okay, there we go. So Pisces, this is not only love, this is security. Okay, this is financial support. This is something being set in stone here. Okay. Um, something that can't be removed, meaning like this person can't be this person might come along and might 
be a marriage that might want to marry you. This can also talk about like again financial, like something is stamped here. Um, something solid, like kids, house, like some of you guys are gonna own a home, like everything is gonna be yours. Like if you were renting, you're going from renting to owning. Um, if you were like dating, you're going from dating to marry. If you were like, you know, at a job, you're going from a job to a business owner, to a career, like to something successful, um, some type of financial balance. Somebody's dealing with a cancer or a Taurus here. Um, or you can have those highly aspected in your chart at this time. What else is here? The Ace of Wands, baby. Yeah, I feel like this is a blessing. High Power is also saying that this is a blessing here. You definitely prayed for this. Um, are you manifested this? This is definitely, um, High Power is giving this to you in a form of a blessing and a gift here. You not have, you not, but I just feel like this is more than just like love, relationship. This is more than like career. I'm getting those individually, but I'm getting like this is overall, this is your happiness, baby. Her power is blessing you with happiness. This is what this is. Your ancestors want you to know that higher power is finna bless you with happiness. And not saying that a career, a man, a woman, you know, all those things can make up happiness. But what I'm getting is you are somebody you could have prayed for genuine happiness. Meaning like when you wake up in the morning, you want to be happy for no fucking reason. You want to be going to work for no, you know, happy for nothing. You want to just be in that good spirit here. Um, for some of you guys, you know that that would help you give back to others. And for some of you guys, High Power knows this as well. And that is why you are getting blessed with this because you are somebody who will bless others. Okay? Meaning like somebody's going to be giving, I'm hearing Salvation Army. I'm getting donation centers. I'm getting um, Children's Hospital. I'm giving, uh, I'm getting like, look, I'm saying I'm giving. Look, I'm getting like some of y'all, you just going to be giving for no damn reason. Um, just because you're blessed, just because you woke up blessed, because you woke up and you know there's a God. Amen. Some of y'all may start going to church or you might start preaching or you might start some type of ceremony, a ceremony of your own, especially if you're someone who been down in the dark and you're going to make it about, you're going to have victory, baby. Okay. Victory is on the rise for you here, but high power, your ancestors want you to know that you are being blessed with genuine happiness. Okay. All these things are co going to collaborate to you being happy. That's what that is. It's going to collaborate to you being happy. Something from your past here. You're going to have memories of your past or the memories of your past is going to be no longer. The people in your past are going to be no longer. Things are going to fade away. People are going to fade away. Um, Something that you were promised you were going to get. Okay? Something that you were promised. This could even be something in the past life that you were promised. This could be your ancestors coming to you. This could be something that you were old since you were a child here. I'm hearing something about slavery. We got the devil and we got, oh yeah, baby. Um, the devil's gonna be resting here. Uh, you won't break my soul. 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 I'm telling everybody. Everybody. Every yeah, I'm getting like the devil gonna have no choice but the rest choice but the rest because it's time for you to rebuild this is what your ancestors are saying okay this could be the minions this could be the motherfuckers that's on your back this could be the motherfuckers that's trying to pin you down they ain't gonna have no choice but the rest here because it's time for you to rebuild it's time for you to start over they're gonna have to watch you grow this is what your ancestors is saying at this time let's see let's get something about love and you know we see but let's get some specific about love what do Pisces need to know about love? What do Pisces need to know about love? Yeah, they tried to break your soul. I keep hearing it. They tried to break your soul. Somebody dealing with a Virgo. You got Virgo highly aspected in your chart. Somebody tried to break your soul, baby. They tried to break you. They tried to break you. I'm hearing they won't break me. No, they won't break me. Can we get something for Pisces and love? What's coming towards Pisces and love? What's coming towards Pisces and love? Ooh, free yourself. It's, it's time to take back control of your life. 
So I am getting that this is a time for you to stop going in a merry-go-round. Something has you spinning around and around um, constantly. This could be, you know, being with the wrong lovers or being influenced by the by the wrong individuals um, about love, okay? Because it, it can also be an energy of seeing how others grew up or seeing others in a relationship or, or you know, people around you when you grew up and um, following behind that cycle or that pattern, whether you want to or not here. But it's time to free yourself, okay? Yeah, somebody definitely dealing with a cancer. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. Yeah, somebody's asking... Whether you're asking somebody to free themselves or you are freeing yourself from someone. I'm also hearing something about a custody battle, okay? Um, somebody has a tight grip on you dealing with children or, or, or some type, something surrounding children. Um, whether you wanted to have a child with this person or you have a child with this person. Some of you guys have a baby, a newborn baby. Some, some, there's going to be a shield. Um, that monkey that's on your back is going to be lifted here. Some of you guys, you just want to... Um, have an agreement with somebody as far as your children and you know maybe co-parent in a um, healthy way here and um, not have any arguments be free of that okay some of you guys you want to move on in life but you you're constantly waiting on that that um that person to return that's that that's that merry-go-round that person to return or or you keep finding yourself dating the type the same type of dude or same type of female okay Again, that's that merry-go-round. It's time for you to free yourself. You need to clear the board here. Okay? Fuck all that. Oh, that's my type. That's my type. That's not my type. Some of y'all, you finna have to start dating what's not your type. Because that's how you're going to find your husband. Okay? That's how you're going to find your wife. You need to start dating what's not your type. Because the people that's your type has not been getting you anywhere. That is this merry-go-round. Okay? That is this merry-go-round. Flirt. Okay, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Again, like I just said here, it's time for you to get out there and flirt. Some of you guys, you are afraid to get rejected. Some of you guys, you don't want to um, put yourself out there because you don't want to look like you're a Jezebel, like you easy or, or, you know, make yourself a target. But some of you guys, you're going to have to flirt a little bit. You're going to have to extend that offer, okay? Some of you guys, you're going to have to get dressed up for no reason, okay? But believe me, baby, it's going to be all worth the wait because we got an Ace of Wands here. I mean, not an Ace, ooh, an Ace of Wands. Some of y'all, is going to be a brand new um, um, connection here. Brand new friendships, brand new communication. Um, but we got the Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands. So something definitely is going to lead to marriage here. Okay? It's just the energy of you extending. Some of you guys are turning down people that um, could definitely make a difference in your life as well. Some of you guys need to get out the victim mentality. You know, yeah, they did you wrong. Yeah, they fucked you over. Yeah, they did that and that and that. Yeah, they slept with who, where, and bam, and thank you, ma'am. Okay, so fucking what? Okay, it's over. So what? Okay? Meaning, like, stop dwelling on the past. Some of you guys need to stop dwelling on the past. Yeah, they did what they did. Mm-hmm, yeah, it wasn't right, but you got to heal that, baby, because guess what? You got that, you got that four of wands coming in for you, and you turning down people, and, and, and you like, oh, no, <laughs> you're being overjudgmental, okay? Some of you guys, cut it out, okay? I'm not saying go out here and date somebody you know you would not like or you would not consider. That's not what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that you need to be a little bit open-minded because what usually is your type or usually was your type is not your type, okay? It says sexually tapped, sexually spent, okay? Tapped out. You're going to, I'm going to have you tap the fuck out. And we got showing off, showing off your skills for him slash her to see. So somebody here wants to show you something. Um, somebody wants to show out for you. We got tongue wants to eat you out. So, yeah, somebody is like, somebody you're going to come across is going to have a big sexual appetite. Okay. Um, I heard devour. Somebody's going to want to devour you. Okay, family. Um, yeah, whether this is a man or a female here, somebody is definitely, um, I'm here in Pound Town. I just left Pound Town. <laughs> Somebody's gonna tap you out. You you gonna definitely be going to work. <laughs> you gonna definitely be going to work with that um that 
hi, hi, you know, tell everybody hello, good morning, with that big ass smile on your face, because somebody's going to be, yeah, somebody going to get you right, okay, whether this is waking you up in the morning with that slop, slurp, 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 slop, slop, 3000, <laughs> or for some of y'all artists that, um, pound town, okay, um, artists that tongue 3000 waking you up in the morning, okay? So, but bottom line here, I'm getting like you're gonna be extremely satisfied. Um, some, somebody could be like an exotic dancer, somebody could like to cuddle a lot, okay? Somebody can have pink bed sheets, somebody can have flowers on their bed sheets. I'm hearing rose petals, okay? Um, I'm also hearing something about flowers in the attic. Somebody, um, needs to heal family issues as well, okay? Um, Something about childhood wounds, okay? Something about childhood wounds with you and your siblings. You need to heal that, okay? So, as far as money, somebody could definitely be going to court here. And I did say that, Pisces, this is a distant, it's something in the distant horizon. You could definitely have to travel to go to court. You could be taking somebody to court or you could be going to court. Um, Some type of new adventure here. I feel like some papers are being served here. Um, some of you guys, you're going to be in this very dreamy, um, state of mind when this happens, meaning like whether I'm not sure if this is good or bad just yet, but I'm getting like, this is one of those when you're going to be drifting off into the air, like daydreaming a lot. Um, maybe this might be some type of escapism in your mindset. I think this is bad because this might be some type of escapism. You know how you escape in your mind a little bit and you kind of wander off Especially like Pisces because we're very dreamy. Okay, so daydreaming a lot um, just to escape the reality. Okay, so I do feel like this is something where it's going to be a little overwhelming for you. Where you're going to have to um, grasp. You're going to have to hold on to something. Or you're going to have to be like, damn, like, wow. Like, something going to kind of blow you away. But, yeah, you are going to take somebody to court. Um, I don't feel like somebody is taking you to court. You might have to appear on the behalf, whether the appear on the behalf of someone or something, or you are taking someone to court. There will be somebody knocking at your door, okay, um, to serve you with some papers. Um, so I'm getting like this is not necessarily you taking somebody to court, but it is you taking somebody to court. Like you're going to be summoned to court on your behalf. Somebody got caught doing some shit, and so you are going to get some court papers about it. Yeah, and again, distance horizon. I'm getting like if this was in distance horizon, this is going to make it all the way to you. Maybe somebody thought that because they were not around you or by you that something would never make it to you or you would never find out or make some type of discovery about this, whatever this is here. Oh, yeah, M uh, main male. There's a main male, great fortune, adjudication here. And then marriage. So for some of you guys, you're getting in, in a, a marriage. I'm hearing holy matrimony. You're getting in some type of marriage or commitment with um, a main male thoughts. Okay, this could be that person. You might have to appear in court for them. Or they, you know, I don't know. Or you might be taking this. Yes, yeah, something with a judge and a boxer and a veteran. Okay, a judge, a boxer, and a veteran. So whether this is somebody that... They don't necessarily have to be a boxer. This could be somebody that likes to fight. Or they could actually be a boxer. This don't have to be a real veteran. Maybe they love animals or they have a lot of animals. Uh, uh, this don't have to be a judge, but this could be somebody that's judgmental. Or this could be. This could be all of the above. You know, somebody could be a trained boxer. Somebody could be an actual vet, veteran. Okay, somebody that works in the church. Okay, first shift is significant. Yeah, somebody tried to break you down, whoever this is. Give me something about this courthouse here. Yeah, attorney, an attorney. Somebody's attor attorney or your attorney, okay? You could be an artist. There are artists here. Give me something else here. Yeah, sports. Somebody's into sports here. I'm hearing something about welding and undercover. So somebody could have been undercover, uh, undercover sports attorney or undercover attorney um is into sports this person is yeah they could have been watching you or, or something like that uh factory a factory worker okay it's significant here i did see judge too we got internet entertainer 
So somebody um, entertains over the internet, whether that's comedy, whether that's TikTok, whether that's fashion, whether that's makeup, modeling, music, uh, shit, um, tarot, you know, whatever. Somebody's internet famous, somebody's an internet entertainer. Here, let's get one more. Okay, we got daycare teacher. Somebody's a daycare teacher, and we got a boxer again. So somebody could work at uh, a daycare facility. Um, or I'm hearing something about a tax attorney. A tax attorney could be significant. Whether somebody's a daycare teacher, used to be a daycare teacher, or like a preschool teacher here. I'm hearing something about a spiritual advisor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more for career. Girl, I'm hearing ching 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 ching. Somebody finna get paid. Somebody finna get paid. Somebody nearly is, and then I, my my eyes went on tapped out. So I'm getting like somebody finna be tapped out, meaning like I'm not getting this sexual energy. I'm getting like tapped out, like somebody's finna be broke. Somebody finna get paid, and somebody finna be broke. Um, mm -hmm. this can have something to do with uh, some type of bondage, or or these could be the those means. Okay, because my eyes went to this devil card here. Okay, this could also talk about addictions or obsession in some kind of way. Somebody could have some type of obsession with money or finances, career, assets, or materialism. Okay, that could have landed them in this spot here. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize because of the choices that they have made. Um, they This person, whoever they are, they know that you're determined. Okay, you're determined to have this ten of cups. Um, and maybe they try to stop you from having this Ten of Cups, whatever this is here. They are determined. They know that you're determined. They know that you won't stop at nothing here. Yep. So some of y'all, they were working together with other individuals here. There, there are other individuals. Like, there's a lot of people that's involved in this. This crime, this scheme. Um, and maybe this plot Pisces was so that you would not uh, be made aware of this or... Uh, or be notified about this but you are you finna um get wind of this okay uh yep this person know that they cannot no longer hide this anymore this is starting to come out okay wear and tear there's some type of mental damage as well yeah king of swords in the reverse there's a king of swords in reverse who this person is working overtime to try to find, to try to um, hide this or find out ways for um, something to work out in their favor here, but it, the 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 jig is up here. That's why we had that expector gadget here. You're watching this person, or you're onto this person. You know exactly who this person is already. Okay, I betrayed you. Um, this could even break your heart or hurt your feelings about who the fuck did this. Okay. Yep, this could definitely hurt you about who the fuck did this. Let's get some um, zodiac sign. I know everybody always be like, well, zodiacs don't matter. Blah, 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 blah. They fucking do. Whether it's going to hurt you who did this or the extent that they went to to try to pull this shit off, baby. Mm -mm -mm. I just seen Taurus twice. Pisces twice. Whether you're a Pisces, they're a Pisces, you're a Taurus, they're a uh, Taurus, you have highly expected your chart. Now this is Pisces reading, but you could also be a cross watcher. So, what's going on here? Give me, dang. Virgo. Uh-oh, excuse me. Uh. Taurus. Somebody could also have you under some type of an illusion spell um, to cloak energy. Capricorn twice. Okay, let's get one more. Ooh, two more. Cancer and Aries. So I definitely do feel like there is multiple people that's involved in this situation here. High powers telling you to watch your back. Okay, because you got people that's very much so close to you are in your energy currently that's trying to cover up exactly what the fuck they done did. But that is all I have for you, my Pisces family. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has resonated with you any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl the 
like button, hit that subscribe, that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, family. Till next time. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Hot Pieces Ma. Back on my tea, back on another read, and we're going to go right in and say the space and cleanse the energy for my cancers. Cleanse the energy for my cancers. What do they need to know at this time? Cleanse the energy. What do they need to know at this time? High power for my cancers. Okay. Now let's see what's going on. We're going to see what do your ancestors want you to know at this time. Then we're going to um, drift into love and then career. Okay. Go put those straws back. Okay. Thank you. Stop playing with the straws. Okay. High power archangels, ancestors of the divine light. What does Cancer need to know at this time? What do they need to know? You have an enemy that's watching you, Cancer. They can rather be a Cancer or, um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're this empress here. Mm -hmm. You need to have strength at this time. You have an enemy that's watching you. Um, very alluring. Okay, so somebody here wants to lower you. Okay, summon you, condemn you. Um, I'm here to condemn you to hell. This person's trying to find some type of way to marry you in the spirit or um, bind you to something here. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. Um, this could talk about family. This could talk about somebody you have a family with. Okay, so somebody you have a family with here is trying to combine you to something. Eight of eight of cups. You walking away from this person or you have walked away from them. Or maybe they're trying to combine you because you have walked away from them. This is an emperor in the reverse, okay? Okay, so this is a father figure who does not pay attention to their children, who was not uh, a good leader, um, who do, did not value you or respect you, okay, Cancer? Um, or this could be... Rather, I feel like this is somebody you have kids with. I do not feel like this is like your ordained spouse. I feel like this person is only an emperor because you have kids with them. Okay, that's just, that is why they're coming out in the reverse. Um, somebody's walking away here. I feel like you walked away from some type of family. This could have happened in the middle of the night. I'm hearing like a thief in the night. Or maybe like one day you just woke up and you just decided like you didn't, you, you were done completely. You wiped your hands from them. Or maybe for some of you guys... You walked away with the family. Like, for some of you guys, this person is not allowed to see children, your children, or this person is not allowed to, um, I'm hearing something about show, show your respect. Something about showing their respect. They weren't allowed to show their respect in something. This could be like a passing or, um, something with a cemetery. I'm getting whatever this is, though. This person has, like, a gang of, um, entities or um the bad choices that they have made are chasing this individual um it's like everything is catching up with them and this is a part of their karma okay the tissue is in there no way. it's a part of their karma for like it's like their guilty conscience is chasing them at this time cancer well go in the go in there and get it Okay, give me one minute. Okay, so it's something about this person's guilty conscience. Everything that they have done in the past here is catching up with them. It's something about this person could be sick or something about something being put to a rest here. There's some type of ending that this person's in their head about. They're, they're, um, somebody's taking some type of risk, leap of faith here. Inspired high priestess. Two. Somebody's been inspired or is inspired or somebody's in their head because somebody else is inspired here. Three of Cups coming together. This is some type of, um, this could be third party. Somebody took some type of leap of faith or some type of risk here um, with an Aquarius or they were inspired by an Aquarius, High Priestess. Something to do with the High Priestess or your High Priestess. I'm also hearing something about an illusionist. Some, um... Somebody could have had illusions placed over them about a particular specific person or somebody's an illusionist but in a good way. Meaning like somebody, the, what, what you see is not what you get with an individual. Like a person could show you something but what, what you actually get is completely different from a person here. Sometimes higher power does that, okay, um, on purpose here when somebody is being taken advantage of. It's like a protection shield. There's also a spell for that. 
where it's called an illusion spell where you can literally um it's to hide your very next plan or your oh girl i'm talking too much i'm talking too much i'm talking too much i probably say you talking too damn much <laughs> Ooh, listen, baby. But let me tell you, it's ways, it's ways to protect yourself out here. All right, when you got people that's in your energy trying to, um, okay. But let me see here. So, what else is going on? Cause I, I, I forget sometimes, y'all. You know, it ain't just y'all want to know about what's going on with y'all and, and your energy and what's okay. Yeah. Mwah. All better. It's not just y'all want to know what's going on in y'all energy and stuff like that. You got these, you got these double gangs. You got these weirdos that's watching, that's trying to catch up on shit, that's trying to figure shit out. So, yeah, um, somebody here is stuck like Chuck. Somebody dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. I had that highly F in their chart. Somebody stuck like Chuck though. I'm also getting stuck to you like glue. Whoever this is, they don't want you to leave. Okay? I'm here to summon you to hell. Somebody tried to summon you to hell. It came out again. This damn emperor. Did you go sit on and watch TV? Thank you. This damn emperor in reverse, y'all. I can't make it up. Oh, no. This is the king of cups. There's a king of cups here that could have summoned you to hell. Or try to. Somebody tried to bury you in the spirit here. Yeah, somebody tried to make sure that. So I'm getting like this person for one. This person's not your ordained spouse here. This person's just somebody that you have a child with. You could be could have been married with, um, had some type of commitment with. This person's actually a king. This is a karmic soulmate here. Um, somebody that lost some type of placement here. Um, the cup has went ran dry. This person is holding on to your energy. Um, so this is who you might feel tugging on you at night, Cancer. This is who you might feel in your dreams at night here. Um, this person here is in some type of heavy regret. And um, the karma is chasing their ass. Literally. Because you have an opportunity Something in the horizon is coming towards you and you're keeping up some type of consistency. This person wants you to be mopey. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be suicidal. Okay, Cancer? But you're not showing any attempt of that at all. Okay? Some of you guys, this person is very desperate. Very, very desperate. They could have even got other people involved here. Um, Holy matrimony. This person could even be married. They got somebody... That they are married um, with involved, okay? Somebody that they are married to is involved in this as well. Um, they're married to like a Jezebel. Somebody here that's very lustful. That um, This is somebody who needs to heal their error. Not saying that people that are bisexual are lustful, but nine times out of ten, if you got to go have sex with a woman and two, three men... Or, and then a woman again, or have sex with a man and a woman at the same time to be sexually satisfied. Nine times out of ten, baby, you got a sexual entity on you. Or if you're constantly having sex back to back to back and you're not satisfied, I mean back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. And, and I mean, not no one round in the morning, one round at night. I'm not talking about nothing like that. Because some of you guys, you just could be just freaks. But for some, that could still be in the, like a lot for a lot of people, uh, married people. Some married people don't even have sex that much. But they still be married. Some people, it takes for you to have sex with them all fucking day long. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. Um, and, and then, you know what I'm saying? And then they finally go to sleep. Like, no, that's a Jezebel, baby. You feed some other shit um, inside of you. You need to um, cleanse yourself and be celibate. Some people can't some people can't sit down and be celibate. You 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 have a baby or you had surgery, something happened to you and you can't have sex, they cheat on you. Because they can't be celibate. They gotta feed that urge. Okay, somebody dealing with a Capricorn. Alright, give me something for this King of Cups. Another fucking Capricorn. Somebody's got double addictions here. Aries. So whether they are married in the spirit, they have bond themselves together and is married in the spirit, cancer, or um, this person, Gemini, bottom of the deck, Libra in reverse. So 
whether they bind themselves in the spirit by who they have sex with, who they, you know, and you know, you can bind yourself with somebody in the spirit very easily. Just simply like, oh yeah, you know, them sweet whispering, them sweet nothings to each other. Oh yeah, I love you, I love you, you know, agreeing. Somebody could come to you in the spirit realm and, uh, and try to marry you and you agree to it. And you, you marry just like that. Or like I said, you have a sex with this person or whatever you merge or committed to. Because like say for instance, somebody come and commit to something with another individual um as far as like a plan or something that's orchestrated or like like a child okay you don't have to even be together with this person for a very long time but you could you could bury them in the spirit or be bonded to them in the spirit through a child now not saying that if you have a child with this individual that you are necessarily automatically bonded with them some of you guys you are and you need to do a, a core cutting you need to cleanse yourself, and you know exactly who the fuck this person is. You need to cleanse yourself and cut that cord, okay? Um, you need to also, I'm going to say, cut that cord with that child is what a high power is telling me. Because some of you guys, they might um, push or project energy onto your children as well to make them act out, to make them sexually, um, you know, sexual, you know, even at a young age, to make them... You know, devious or malicious or mean or jealous, spiteful. They, you, they, people can project that onto their children if they got a, a cord where they are feeding that to their child here. Um, so yes, be careful of that as well. Some of you guys, you need to give your child a sage bath. Let's see what's going on for love. What's going on for love for my cancer? I can feel it in me. Eh? Somebody dealing with a Sagittarius. You dealing with a Sagittarius, Cancer? Okay, shit is getting steamy between you two. Or somebody got, um, somebody got Sagittarius in their chart. Something, something steamy. Something's in the air. You could damn near feel it. You know what I'm getting? I'm not getting like no stinking ass smell. I'm not getting no, no sweaty smell. But I'm getting like that sex in the air. I'm getting. Like I'm hearing sex in the city. Some of you guys might literally have sex in the city. I'm getting like waking up to a balcony where all the horns are being hunk. This could be like New York City. Um, the horns are being hunk. Um, life is happening all around you. And it's like having your coffee sitting out on a balcony in a white t-shirt. This could be your man's business shirt. I'm getting something like that. I'm getting somebody hair pinned up. And yeah, I'm getting sex in the air. Some of y'all could be on a vacation here. And like I said, not no sweaty, stank stuff. But you know how it get, it get moist, baby. It get moist when you got, I'm getting like candles all around. I'm getting like a dark room and then I'm getting like the morning. I'm sitting in the morning time, but I'm also getting like something going to start in the dark, in the midnight. And the candles might stay all night long. They might stay all night long, okay? Some of y'all, y'all going to have them candles where they might go all night long here. Look, children. Um, your love life is being affected by children at this time. Some of you guys might want to have children. Maybe somebody does not want to have children. Okay, that could be a thing. Um, somebody wants to, somebody does not. Okay, or maybe somebody's not ready. Maybe somebody feels like they have kids already. Somebody could be short and dark skin. I'm getting Kevin Hart energy. We got engagement. Your love life is is extending to a higher level uh, to a higher level of commitment here. We're, I'm hearing short. Short, dark, and thick. You don't have to be dark, dark, okay? You could be peanut butter brown. You could be chocolate. I'm hearing caramel. Uh, but you could be dark. I'm getting also a dark masculine here. Somebody that's dark skin, okay? They could be a little bit short or average height, okay? You don't have to be short like Kevin Hart, but somebody could be average height, okay? Somebody could even have dreads. Somebody could have bad skin. I feel like they have bad skin. You are beautiful, baby, okay? Whoever you are. And I'm also getting, I heard dermatologist. Some of you guys, something could be fixed up with going to your dermatologist, okay? If you, you get pimples, you get bumps, whatever, you know, it's it's normal, especially with us women, you know, when it be the time of the month, some of that shit happens, you know, and then you got people that's doing the glamour spells and all that weird ass shit. So, you know, they trying to make it hard for you to even find somebody or for somebody to look at you and be attracted to you, baby. You're beautiful. And whoever I'm talking to, you know that. You're like, man, I'm the shit. What? Excuse me? Who the fuck you? 
<laughs> somebody like I'm the shit. I don't give a fuck what you say. How many fucking bumps I got on my face? Somebody like I'm the shit, baby, and I'm gonna shine. Yeah. I'm here. I'm going to shine, homie, until my heart stop. Go ahead and be me. Yeah. So, I feel like but some of you guys go to the dermatologist. If it might, you know, it can boost your confidence and leave even more, baby. But some of you guys, I'm just saying, I'm hearing dermatologists. Some of that shit can be cleared up with the dermatologist. They can give you some shit for that. Like, how you take a pill, a little cream throughout the week. That shit can be cleared up. Um... Just saying, you don't have to, but I'm just saying here very soon. So something's happening in a while. It's not as soon as you might have thought or you have expected when it comes to love, cancer. I almost said Virgo. Somebody dealing with a Virgo. Very soon. Clear to decide what it is that you want. So it comes to you now. So you do need to decide what it is that you want. I feel like you're indecisive. You could be in between people or in between what you like, who you like. Um, or if you even like somebody like that, okay? Uh, but High Power is saying that um, something might take a while, okay? Something might not come as soon. We say, ooh, I, ooh, we say, come through Higher Power. Come through through me, baby. Please do. High Power Archangel's answers is definitely coming through in the building. I said, we said, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. My father said, let me talk. All right, go ahead. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith bring you will bring you romance. So, stay positive about shit, okay? Some of you guys, you are losing your perspective. You are losing your motive. You are losing your inspiration. You're at, you know, even if it's just with one person or even with you finding anybody. Some of you guys, you're, all, you're going to get married. It might not be with the person you thought it might be with. Again, I said this in Pisces. Some of you guys are holding on to this, oh, my type shit. You need to leave that alone, okay? Um, yeah, I'm hearing, that's my type, nigga. That's my type. Yeah, some of y'all, you need to let that go here. Some of y'all, your soulmate, your husband might be poor. Because that's just how the song goes. A rich nigga, that's my type. Yeah, some of y'all, that motherfucker might be poor. Okay, this could be a man where you're going to have to put him on with a job and he going to make money. He's going to bring in the bacon and by you loving that man when he didn't even have that much, you could even have more than him. He might make you an at-home mom. You feel me? Something like that, okay? So let go of that stereotype. Let go of that belief. Um, try to drown out the naysays of people around you that are like, oh, yeah, you need to be with this type of person, this type of female, this type of man here. Because um, all the reality, they're not the ones who's going to marry them. You are. Okay? So, very soon, decide. I'm getting like this could be for somebody who's trying to decide what they like. I'm, I'm strongly getting that. I feel like you have already made up what you don't like. You know what you don't like, Cancer. But you're trying to figure out what the hell you do like. <laughs> like, no, I know I like that, I like that, I like that. But I don't know if I like that. I don't know. And it could be some people where you thought you liked them, and then you like, I don't like them like that, or I don't like that type. Like, uh-uh, that's not for me. And that could just be something where somebody came towards you, and you had the opportunity to date somebody, or to, you know, take a look at somebody, and you was just like, no, I'm cool on that, that's not really my type, that's not really my angle. That's not me, okay? We got the sissons. Listen slash feel to your body wants and needs, okay? This will help you clearly decide. This will help you clearly decide here. If you pay attention what you what you desire, what you're attracted to, what you find to be romantic, what you find to... For some of you guys, you thought that maybe you're fashionable, and so you thought that you need somebody that's fashionable. And that's, you might realize that that ain't even what you like. Because, you know, you got, you know, I don't know. Or it could be like, uh, you, you thought you liked it this type, but then you like the other type. You know, or something like that. Or this could even be talking about race, okay? We got bomb.com. It's always fucking bomb. Can't complain. So something here, the sex life, the sex baby is going to be amazing. Always amazing i'm getting like bomb.com even on the worst days even on the tired days even on the days you got done dealing with the kids whatever it's gonna be bomb.com 
Okay, for some of you guys, that's important to you. Okay, because you could be a business woman, business man. You want somebody that's going to blow your back out. Or you want somebody that's going to put you to bed. I'm here, I'm going to put you to bed, to bed, to bed. Yeah. Plain pretend. I don't want to expose how bad I want you. So who the fuck is this, Cancer? Now let me find out this you, Cancer. Let me find out this you, Cancer. Or this is somebody that's in your energy that's trying to hide how they feel about you. Okay? Somebody's playing pretend here. And we got to be continued. So you thought we were done? Ha, ha, ha. You're cute. Ooh. Who is that? <laughs> Somebody is coming for you, baby. Somebody like, oh, you thought we were done. Time to hook up again. So what's going on? What's tea cancer? Like, y'all know what's going on, okay? Because um, somebody like, yeah, it's time to hook up again, baby. Look, be loved. I want to be loved by you. Marilyn Monroe might be significant here. I'm here. feels good to be loved by you. Somebody said that it's bomb.com every time they get around you, babe. They said it's bomb.com, Cassie. Mm -hmm. They ain't playing around with you. Okay, so let's get over into career. Let's see what's going on with your money. Ooh, wealthy man. I'm just seeing wealthy man. What's going on with cancer in their career? What's going on with cancer in their career? Somebody could also be astro projecting, okay? Somebody's astro projecting. Trying to keep tabs on you, trying to see what you've been up to, what you're doing here. Somebody's very fucking good at it. Um, yeah. They be standing in a room, laying in a room right next to you. They lay in the room in the bed right next to you. Harpire is telling me to tell you that. Somebody be laying in the bed right next to you. They be watching you while you sleep. Doorway. High power saying they stand in the doorway. High power say they even touch you at night. That's why you could be waking up in the middle of the night. Career. I don't know if that's an ex or if this is this person. But for some of y'all, it came out when I had these cards. When I was flipping for the love. So for some of you guys, if this is the love, the ex that's, you know, constantly in your energy. But I feel like this is somebody that um, is playing pretend here. This person astral projects because they don't even want you to know... That they keeping tabs on you that much. That's how much they fucking care. And they don't even want you to know that. They want to know everything that you're doing, when you're doing it, how you're doing it. So, somebody around you. This could be somebody that you work with. Um, some type of significant other. Somebody, I'm here, a church goer. Hospice. Somebody is going to jail or is in jail here. Um, this could be from f money fraud, laundry. Um, this could be from you. Okay? Or this could be another cancer. Or this could be you. Okay? Somebody going to jail here. Mm. I heard playing pretend. So if this is this person that's going to jail over here, or somebody is in jail. Brother, somebody in jail, somebody going to jail. I heard in-house court system. So this could be somebody having a two-peer in court in jail. Um, I've never seen them do that. But maybe somebody having to sit down, you know, and having to go to a little room, having like their attorney and a judge in the room and go to court in that room instead of going into an actual court here. Voluntary, involuntary district, district attorney. Something with the attorney is not the attorney that they wanted or that you wanted. Somebody could be foul or a predator. Some, some, something could, something could be foul here. Something could be fake. Somebody's phony because we got this mouse. This mouse is telling. This mouse is doing something here. Somebody's doing something here. I'm here, Kim, possible. Call me, beat me when you want to reach me. 
It's okay, whatever you need me, baby. The cut the 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 hair, the green and black hair could fucking be the shit for somebody. I don't know. I'm getting the green and black. I'm getting the green and black to be very attractive to somebody. Or you like you might do a lot of green and black hair. Or like just green or black. And I'm getting like the dark. I'm also hearing toy coins. Privileged lady. Okay, this could be you. Or this could be a privileged lady. Somebody here, a privileged lady. I'm here, tax attorney. Fraud, fraudulent. Okay, that came off of Pisces. Let's get something here, because we got false person. Let's get careers, first of all. Let's see what is the careers. Somebody's a, ho a hostess with the most. It's like somebody has a lot of dinner parties at their penthouse or something. Um, Lyft driver could be significant here. Somebody's a Lyft driver. Uber, I'm hearing. Uh, nurse aid. I was getting that. I was getting that in the beginning. A nurse aid is sophist uh, sophisticated? I don't know. Sports? Um, but it's significant here. Hunter. Somebody's a hunter. Like somebody likes to go hunting. Um, this could actually be like so, so, so somebody could hunt like rabbits. Somebody could hunt like um deer, moose, camel, um, is what I just heard. Um I don't know, but this could also be somebody that has a lot of guns. This this person could like be like a hunter in real life. Like somebody could be like a spiritual hunter or a hitman or something like that. Like somebody hunts animals but they also like um going after people too like they might hunt for like a sport here a sport around the winter time yeah oh my goodness look this came out with spiritual advisor somebody could be hunting a spiritual advisor or spiritual advisors okay boxer a boxer is significant here i'm hearing fraudulent tax attorney that came out with music music industry Forklift. Somebody could be a forklift driver. I'm hearing comedian. Somebody could also be a comic. Um, cr creator. Okay, somebody's a creator of something. They create. Um, this could be. I don't care. It could be clothes. It could be items. It could be toys. Manufacturing something that you create. You build with your hands. Um, you make things. Yeah, and they're gonna manufacturing right there. Okay, somebody is a somebody puts some shit together. They work in some type of factory where they build things with their hands, um, or make something here. Um, that could be significant. This could even be construction, but construction would have came out. Shit, this can even be as simple as tarot cards. Something that you create. You can create something. It doesn't matter. Create music. Create industry. I don't know, but I'm, I'm getting like a creator. Something creative. So it's like, I feel like clothing or something. But fashion would came out. But I do got, what's behind that? We got packing and shipping. Somebody works in packing and, sh some type of packing and sh shipping. Uh, give me something about these people. So we got somebody's moving to Calmer Waters here. Um, somebody's obsessed with some type of marriage, or moving to Calmer Waters from some type of bondage here. Coming together, three of wands. They're going to be some type of coming together. Some type of Ponzi scheme, third party Ponzi scheme. Going to jail. Who's going to jail? Maybe it's this privileged lady that's going to jail. Okay. Or somebody's already in jail because of somebody else. Okay. It's either that. I'm here, here nor there. Somebody's not taking something um to be important. Somebody's kind of like brushing something off. Okay. Somebody doesn't want somebody to rebuild or trying to stop them from rebuilding here. Determined. Um, maybe somebody's having a hard time finding a job here. Supervisor, somebody's supervisor is strict 
or something with a strict supervisor. Somebody could have got fired or laid off. Somebody could have a bad reputation for something. Uh, box lifting? Lifting boxes or something? I'm also hearing something about shoplifting. Somebody could be stealing. Something again about a fraud ass tax attorney. Somebody's in their head about a conversation. Have strength. Are in your are you in your head about a conversation here? Cancer or somebody's having um in their head about having a conversation with you, but why should you have strength? Two of cups. Some type of news. About an ace of cups, making a choice to come in and heal. So somebody here is making some type of choice to come in and heal something with you, Cancer. Um, I'm hearing holy matrimony. I'm here going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Yeah, so have strength. Okay, but why does Cancer need to have strength here? Yeah, I'm here. Hold on to your hat. Hold on, here she comes. Yeah, some shit might blow you away. Hold on, here she comes. Some type of news. <sighs> it's this pretender. It's the pretender. Eight of swords. I mean, nine of swords. Damn, eight of swords. Why did I say nine of swords? You're having dreams about this person. Or this person sending you messages in your dream, Cancer. Um... This person don't want you to be in your head. Whether this person's not around you, they could be in jail, or they physically want to be around you and they can't. This person's sending you some type of dream to let you know something. That's why this Eight of Swords came out. It's reversing. Somebody wants to tell you something without telling you it. It's like a message, some type of code. Decoding or figure something out. Eight of Cups. Somebody's leaving with the world. So this person could be in some type of entanglement here. This is probably why they're playing pretend, acting like they don't want you, or maybe somebody's physically not around you here. Um, somebody's trying to let you know some shit. That's why they coming to you in your dream state. But that's between you and this person, Cancer. Mm -hmm. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thanks so very much. Um, if this reading has touched you energetically any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Okay? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time, family. Bye. Hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Mar. Back with more tea. Back with another read. And we're going to go right in and see what's going on for my Scorpios, okay? Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Sends an energy for my Scorpios. Somebody is trying to sink their teeth into you, Scorpio. They want you to believe that it's somebody else doing something to you, but it's really them. Okay, not only that, um, somebody's trying to bite you. Somebody's weird as fuck. Like, you might be getting bit by spiders, or you might be seeing spiders, um, or literally like bats or flies or bugs. Um, at the most, spiders. And you might be getting, it, you might even be getting spider bites. This is like some type of... Sucking of the blood that this person is doing here. This somebody's a weirdo. Okay, and I don't mean in a good way. But um cleansing energy, what's going on for my Scorpios? Yeah, somebody dealing with a cancer or got cancer in their chart. Ooh. What do the ancestors want Scorpio to know? That there is conflict here. There's a battle, there's a war. Um, some type of partnership. I'm hearing made the best man win. Go play. Thank you. I'm hearing made the best man win. This could be uh, a battle of the sexes. This could be multiple people coming at you at once. I'm getting like a lot of energies coming at you at once, Scorpio, but they all don't mean you no good. That don't mean you no good. Don't trust no. And then you got some bitter women as well that's in your um, energy. That's trying to act as if they're giving you spiritual advice or helpful advice. Okay, somebody's bitter. Somebody's actually bitter. Don't tell these women or this woman about your new relationship or something you might have on the horizon here. That actually might be good for you. No, thank you. Go play. Somebody could be a little bit forceful. Okay? 
a little bit forceful, okay? Meaning like they force you when you don't want something, okay? Um, they they push their advice on you, they push their attention on you, or they push things on to you, okay? You can even tell this person very so, um, very much so upfront to leave you alone. But somebody here is very forceful, okay? Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. What was the best thing? Okay. Yeah, I stemmed off of Noel a little bit. Because she was being very pushy. I feel like that's significant here. Two of Swords. I feel like this is causing you to be in a Two of Swords energy. Maybe um because it's like a crossroads here stuck between a rock and a hard place maybe you feel like somebody means good for you maybe you feel like somebody has the best for you but maybe somebody just wants to dictate and contradict your life maybe somebody just wants to be in your shoes it's the energy of if i was in your shoes this was what i would do um this is how i would move this and that and that but somebody here is not letting you be yourself okay scorpio are not giving you the opportunity to do things yourself here this person can even be manifested for things to go bad if you do not follow their direction or you do not do what they want you to do this is some secret shit here this is like oh you ain't go to the store oh i advise you to go to the store today you're like oh yeah i'm gonna go to tomorrow yeah, you ain't gonna go to the store today? Okay, yeah, that's why your motherfucking car gonna be broke. You ain't gonna be able to go to it tomorrow. Something like that, okay? That's what I'm getting. Something like that. Like, dang, you know? And I'm getting like, this is a secret, though. Somebody here um, secretly wants you to fail because you're doing good. But they want to look as if they guided you to do good because this glorifies this person in some kind of way. Okay? Yes. Um, you need to be very careful about who you tell your um, advice to. Because some people um, is not meant to even hear from you, okay? Sometimes people go through karma and the situations that they go through is because they put themselves in that high power saying, stay out of it. You don't need to give them no advice. You don't need to help them with shit. I didn't tell you to do that, okay? Because sometimes, nine times out of ten, they dealing with that shit because they did what they did to you. Don't be kept in safe a hold with somebody that it deserves karma from whatever the fuck that they did to you, Okay? Scorpio, I'm also getting like this This person here is making it very hard for you. Somebody's making it very hard for you. I'm getting like somebody very cheesy. Um, th and This is somebody that's, that's, oh, you're making it very hard. Like somebody here, um, I heard that in a movie somewhere, but I don't know whether they're making it very hard for you or you're making it very hard for them. And what I mean is like, okay, somebody here is aroused by you, okay, um, Somebody's a weirdo. Like, somebody is really weird. Like, they use cheesy pickup lines. This person's very sleazy. Or this is giving, like, a beer belly. Or somebody that drinks beer all day. Or smell like fucking beer or wine or something here. Um, Some type of cheesy pickup lines that they say to females in a bar or something. It's got something to do with this man or this woman here. This could be definitely be two people. I'm here, peas, two peas in a pile here. These people could definitely be very much so alike here. Um, they feel like you're slipping out of their hands. You're slipping away from them. Now, I don't know if this woman is like a, a mother figure. Somebody's older. But I was getting like an older woman here. And with this masculine, I was getting like a man that could be old. Okay. Um, and I just really hope that this is not no incest situation where somebody here um, has a sexual desire for you. And this person is related to you. Okay, Scorpio, but for some of you guys, um, don't let these people put you in no damn crossword. Even if they are important to you, they you care about them. For some of them, they, I don't feel like you care about this man too much that's in your energy. But for some of y'all, there is a woman, Scorpio, here that's feeding off of your energy, your desires, um, something, your achievements, your goals here. This person might even cry. Um, somebody here kind of wants to be you. Kind of wants to wear your shoes or dictate because it, it makes them feel good. It glor glorifies them. It's like, oh, if you run across that street and you get a million dollars, they're going to be like, man, see, I told you to run across that street. I told you. I told you. I told you. And maybe they did, you know, like, oh, go across that street and get this and that and that. And you go across that street and then next thing you know, you win a million dollars. This is somebody that's like that. They want to be able to be like, I told you. See, see, see. Now give me some. This is that person. Okay. They know that you have something coming for you here. 
We got the lovers. I'm hearing sexual appetite, sexual desires. Higher powers telling you you have multiple lovers out here that's lusting over you. I said that already. These are people you, you could have thought you. This is like ancient history. Some of you guys married somebody in the spirit or they're married to you. This is somebody that has something. Somebody, some of you guys, excuse my language, but you could fuck somebody from the back or from the side. Okay, you could have looked back at it. Um, or look from the side, look at them from the side here, or something like that. It's something about this person getting a side shot of your face, or you getting a side shot of them. They they miss that somebody reminisces and dreams about having sex with you from the back or from the side. Okay, this person's holding on to your damn energy. Okay, lovers. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. Are you known since a child here? Um, this could be like homelessness. Somebody could have been homeless when they were a child. Um, or you could have lost something or someone as a child or a teenager. This could be a family member, a friend. Somebody could be giving you your flowers, telling you how good you've been doing here or to keep up the good work. Mm. Somebody in the, somebody in the, in one of your ancestors that passed over. This is a passed over loved one, passed over relative here. Are, it's telling you how good you've been doing here with your career, your finances, um, your love life. Yeah. Somebody wish that they had the opportunity to do that. Um, or they're just handing you your flowers. This is somebody you know as a child, whether you know them as a teenager or as a little bitty child, like I said, but this is a family member here. Okay? Or somebody that's like family, very dear, close to you. We also have a two of cups here. Communion. Somebody you might pass away with. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this you might pass away with them or this is if this is your and this might be y'all ancestor. It's somebody here you have a very strong connection with higher power is telling you, your ancestors is telling you, and it's so fucking strong. You and this person's ancestors are married. Like your ancestors and their shh, your ancestors and their ancestors are married. And it's like they're dancing right now. Like there's a wedding. There's a wedding here. Like they're coming together in the spirit. This person's ancestors, your ancestors, whether you're the woman, they're the man, it don't matter here. But this is how I closely connected. So that means that whoever this person is, you have a, a, a connection with them. You have had been with them, this person from lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Lifetime, lifetime. I live in an empty bar. I can test our entrance. We're working all out this lifetime, lifetime. Yeah, somebody feel like they're gonna work it out this lifetime, okay? Somebody maybe didn't have the chance next last lifetime. Ooh, I might not have the chance next lifetime. That's what I was gonna say. Somebody feels like they might not have the chance next lifetime, and they didn't get to do it last lifetime. Your ancestors have been fighting for y'all to come together because they have not been able to come together. Their ancestors had to guide them. Your ancestors had to guide you. And so these ancestors have not been able to come together. I'm getting... Okay, so... I'm getting like somebody want to work something out this lifetime, okay? They didn't get a chance to work it out last time. They want to work it out this lifetime. Now, I'm getting something about courage... Uh, the cowardly lion. I'm gonna like the something, something about the cowardly lion. Lion, Wizard of Oz could be significant here. Um, there's a woman that's trying to be brave because she was maybe, or maybe somebody should be standing in their power, being brave about something, but somebody's scared of something. There's a woman here with some armor. She could be guarded, okay, just to try to protect herself, but she could be coming off as a little scary, scary or afraid. I'm getting, like, scared straight, okay? I'm getting, like, somebody might get themselves in some type of pickle or some type of situation. Somebody might get themselves in some type of jam, and this actually might work out for them. It's like getting caught in a trap trying to be too careful. It might cause you to be a little bit more careless. Like, say, for instance, if you, like, um, going towards a certain person or a certain thing, 
um, because it looks like it's safe um, just going off of safety or just going off of this and that, and that might actually get you in so it's like it's the it's, it's like something don't look like what it is it's like it looks safe um but it's not it's actually a lesson here this can even be a person like something looks like oh okay i can try this this is this is safe um this this will work out for me but it's actually like a lesson okay that's it's, it's it's similar to like dating um not to just bring up dating because this is talking about just what your experts want you to know like this could be career too like or housing or something like that i'm here housing authority so it's like oh you think something is safe like oh yeah this is a good place for me this and that like you might end up being in a worse predicament or you might end up being in a worse situation than you were in before if that makes sense with a person or with a, a place or, or something here this is trying to be too safe trying to play it safe ain't nothing wrong with being safe is what your ancestors are saying but it's something about not going with the flow or letting things happen naturally or moving too quick when it comes to certain things people place our things okay Yeah, somebody want to work something out this lifetime. Work it all out this lifetime. Or this could even be you, Scorpio. You want to work this shit out this lifetime. Um, You want to mend things. And you want to make this ex life experience with all you can make it here. And not have no, um, and no, it don't have no regrets, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, let's see. What does Scorpio have? going on for them for love here something with love what's going on in the love department for Scorpio what's going on in the love department for Scorpio I'm here a fatal attraction oh be careful Scorpio be careful, Scorpio. Somebody is, like, obsessing over you. Somebody is, like, yeah, I'm hearing pretty hot and thick. You got all the great features. Somebody, like, somebody is, like, obsessing over you, though. But we got wedding, okay? Wedding and career, finances and career came out together. So, wedding, this, this situation involves marriage here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, maybe somebody does not have um all the values that you might expect from them or that you might want from them that you um might need to consider them as an asset in your life in some kind of way but i don't know what this is because i'm getting like this fatal attraction somebody here is like i don't know if it's the same person or what but i, I feel like somebody here is like is this the same person high power high power saying no you have somebody that's obsessed with you um, I'm getting like you are moving on though. You are getting married here or, or some a, a situation Oh Somebody is attracted to you, but you already in a relationship with somebody You already have your eyes. I'm hearing you already Seek your um uh, financial like the what's that car in here? It's in this love deck. It's um you already have the romantic person that you seek or something like that okay you already know who you who you are attracted to or who you who you want to be connected to you you have um somebody that you have in mind so some of you guys you are in a relationship or you like somebody already your love life is extending to the next level uh, of marriage and somebody can be dealing with finances and careers right here it could be a financial issue somebody might down have the money okay somebody might not might not have it okay um yeah i'm hearing down bad broke somebody is broke right now somebody can even be getting out of jail or is in jail here this could be spiritual court somebody could be dealing with some karma or somebody could be actually in jail like you might meet somebody and like a month or two ago they were in jail you know, or like they literally just got out of jail or they some are dealt with some type of jail situation or like got fired from their job or something. They dealt with some type of karma or something here. Um, but that does not mean that this person does not want to do well. 
is what high power is saying this situation actually is going to lead to marriage here by you giving somebody a try and not judging them off of their finances let's give something about financial careers love life for can um scorpio i keep wanting to say cancer somebody dealing with a cancer i did that at the beginning of this read cancer is very significant whether this person's in your energy or what somebody wants to participate with you um, you guys might collaborate collaborate in something, perform something, create something here. Let's see what this is. You guys might come together financially, you and this person. You guys might actually put two heads. I'm here killing two birds with one stone. Two heads are better than one. It's something about this person might not have a career. Um, they might not even know what they want to do in life. Um, you might inspire this person, Scorpio, or you guys might get together. Yes, a cold breeze behind me. You guys might get together. Yes, yeah, something's finna blow in here. Somebody dealing with a Gemini. King of Wands. Now, this could be somebody that you like or you find sexually attractive or they like you. What is this here? Five of Swords. Walking away. Choosing a King of Cups here. Lost out in a cold juggling moon. So, there is a King of Wands here. That is in their head because they're like they're in their head because you're walking away from them and you're deciding to choose love. So you're picking lust over love here. So somebody here um, is upset about that. And I'm getting like you're going to be brutally honest to this person here. They find you attractive or somebody. So, so we said that though. Yes, yeah, somebody stutters. We said that though. We said like, um, yeah, so, so I'm hearing, like, somebody, like, yeah, you picking me over them, blase, blase. Like, somebody here is all about lust, though, and you want love. You want something better, so you don't you don't care if somebody don't have the finances that you want. You know that you can build that as long as it's somebody that's willing to work hard. But, see, the king of wands here, they are, they want to come with money. They want to be on put on a pedestal. They want to be showed off. They want the glitter, the glam. They want the high-style lifestyle. This person could even... They could even already have money already here. But for some of y'all, you want the love. You want you you don't want the lust. You want the love. So this is a um energy between somebody you could have lust over, liked sexually, or liked them for what they sexually have. Somebody could have had a big wand, okay? Um, but then you got somebody here that you, you want them because of love. You like, nah, I wanna I genuinely love them or uh they genuinely love me. Things of that nature here. Um, some type of an apology or some type of kind-hearted gesture or light gesture here from an emperor. Okay, I don't know if this is your divine counterpart or this is you. Some type of giving and receiving here with the sun. Something's going to bring in a, a, a child. Ten of swords. Yeah, somebody in their head deep about this. They even find this to be betrayal. They pissed off. They even find this to be betrayal. What the they have dreams about it. They see you get married here. They they find this to be a betrayal, Scorpio. They like, well, they see something happening before it's happening. Whether you're getting an apology or you're going to meet somebody and it's going to be like, um, you know, like best friends energy or like cheerful playfulness, having fun together. And it's like, you know, this person's going to turn out to be your emperor here. Like moon, like you're you're going to go into something and you're going to be mysterious as as if this person is somebody for you or is this person somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with? Maybe you guys are just friends flirting, blase blase, and then this boom, like somebody's going to end up being your emperor. You're going to end up getting married here, giving and receiving a baby is going to be born, a child, or or like happiness. Um. And then it's like this person here is like going fucking crazy. They're going crazy here. Yeah, because you're you're choosing love over lust. This is this person with this fatal attraction here. Yeah, this person could be a Gemini or have Gemini in a chart. Give me, who is this King of Wands? Give me Zodiac for King of Wands. Libra in the reverse. Zodiac for King of Wands. Sagittarius. I'm hearing Scorpio. Somebody could be a Scorpio, Scorpio. Damn. All right. It could be 
begin with another Scorpio, an Aries. Let's get one more. Okay, Aquarius. I did hear Taurus, okay? Cancer as well. So somebody can have those highly expected in their chart. Okay, so yeah. I'm also hearing something about brutally honest. You're going to be brutally honest, honest with this person. Empress, I can't make it up. You see, some of y'all are coming into connection with your divine counterpart, whether you know this person or not. Like, um, some of you guys, you might not think that this person is your emperor, or, you know, you might not think something might get as far. Do they know this person? The Scorpio know this individual. Five of Swords, yeah. For some of y'all, this is the reason why they're the Five of Swords, because or you are the Five of Swords, because you knew this was your emperor, this person was your emperor all along, or you weren't for sure. Um, or it's the energy of, they're, they're in the Five of Swords because... They could have wanted to be your emperor or wanted to be with you. Somebody's stressing. Yeah, hangman. Somebody's stressing with the strength. Yeah, there we go. It slipped right out. Somebody wanted to ace the wands. So it's like, look at all those aces. Somebody, so say for instance, this was somebody that's always been in your life. Killing me softly with his word. Killing me softly with his word. Telling my whole life with his word. I don't even know if I'm singing it right. It's a yearning here. It's like a yearning. It comes randomly. You know who your divine counterpart is, or you know who this person is. It's like, it's a force. It's like magnetically, you're drawn to this person, or you will be. It's even like, I'm getting like somebody like walk past you, swift past you. You feel this person energetically. You feel their presence. You feel them around you. Um, or like if you, if this person walks past you, or the first encounter you have with this person, it's going to be like, I know you somewhere. I know you from somewhere. We did this before. Like, you're going to get automatic deja vu. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you're going to be like, this is so familiar. This has something to do with those ancestors. Okay? It's going to be, like, so familiar. Like, we've been here before. I smelled your... It's something about this person's cologne. But I smelled this before. I've been here before. Um, waking up next to this person, you're going to feel like I did this before. For some of you guys, you have many past lives with this individual. So, yeah, you could be dealing with a damn cancer or you got cancer in your chart. Somebody here, um, and then you got somebody here that's, like, pissed off because they thought, like, oh, you were theirs. You were their property, but whole time, no. This person was, you were not even supposed to be. So, if it's as if you would have had kids with this person or do have children with this person, like, they, they think that they are, you are theirs. They're very mistaken here. You were never theirs. This person was only come, meant to come in your life to be a lesson here. That's why they are the king of wands and somebody else is the king of cups. Yeah, and then there's sudden wealth coming. Sudden wealth. Privileged woman. Ooh, imprisonment. Privileged man. Coffin. Okay, some type of ending of a, a false person here. Let's get something for finances. Yeah, thief in reverse. An official person. So I'm getting like you're going to be promoted here. You're going to be put on a pedestal. You're going to have the enlightenment that you deserve. Are you going to get the recognition that you deserve here? Okay, you're going to become this official person. You're going to be the, the, it, you know, whatever your name is. The blank. The blank. Boss lady blank. Boss man blank. Blank, blank. Like, people going to respect you. People going to respect you. They're going to put some respect on your name. You hear me? You hear me, Scorpio? They're going to put some respect on your name. You know why? Because your name going to ring bells. Your name going to... Uh, Something about your name is going to set off alarms, okay? You have a thief here that wanted to be you. It don't matter what job description you have, what career you have, what life, whatever you're destined to be here, um, you're going to be put in the forefront. You're going to be automatically shot forward here. Um, there's a thief that's going to jail or going to hell, okay? That, um, mm, that came out the way it came out. Um, somebody is going down, though. Somebody going to fuck down. I don't know. They try to steal something from you. I'm going down. This could be somebody who wanted you to be around them. Um, to have you around or something like that. Oh, this is this same motherfucker, bro. 
This is the same motherfucker that's in their head. And then you know what? I forgot the I got so wrapped up in this damn person. I forgot to pull the but maybe high power saying we don't need to pull the um the love cards for that. Killing me softly with his words. Yeah, somebody got ooh girl. Somebody can whisper in your ear. And it's gonna still still chill. It's gonna send chills down your spine. Like somebody could say something about somebody's voice. Oh Lord, I I damn near can hear it in my ear. <laughs> somebody got a like they got a they got a I'm hearing raspy. Somebody's voice raspy, or they got like a I'm hearing clear. Somebody's clearing their throat. Okay, somebody's clearing their throat. It's something about their voice. It's something about what they might say to you. Ooh. Ooh wee. <laughs> somebody ah somebody like to make you tingle or something. Girl ooh wee. Somebody like to make you tingle or something like that. Um mm. some of y'all you got a spot and it's your ear. Okay, behind your ear, inside your ear. Okay, I don't know. Something with the ear, or this is this person. They could like nibbling on your ears, nibbling on your neck. It's something here, like this, it's gonna make you like ball up, like ooh, shit, like girl, what's going on with this thief? Or it just might be their voice, okay? It's that voice, like when they whisper something in your ear, and then you got some damn body that's trying to come through energetically. You got some, you got okay, let's get this straight. You got some people out here that's trying to mimic your person. They can't even do it right. Like you got, you got, you let's get let's let's let's, let's just get it straight. You got some people that's trying to come in the astral realm and sexually appease you, or arouse you, or be around. Let's let's just get that straight, okay? For some of y'all, it's this person, it's ex lovers. You got people that you got multiple options here, Scorpio, but it's only one that can really do it for you, and you know who it is, because it's that energetic pull towards them, but then you got these other people who's trying to mimic that, they're trying to come in and, and do the same thing that this person did, or is doing to make you feel the same way, they're like, how can I get Scorpio to ball up and scrunch up and, and twiddle their toes and be all in love like that with me, how can I do that, but they they can't do it here. Yeah, you're and you getting some type of justice for this thief. Yeah, something's being put into alignment here. Something's already in alignment. It's just a matter of time. This is like it's a matter of time before the ball drop. This is like that countdown energy. This is like um a baby, you know, any day now when you hit that nine months and you walking around big as fuck and you're walking back and forth because it's any day now, any day now, this baby gonna be here. It's like that. Any day now, something's gonna happen here. Any day now, you're going to get your justice. Any day now, there's going to be a knock at the door. This thief is no longer a thief. They thought they were sneaky here, but they have been caught. Okay, they have been caught. They have been found out about. This person was trying to steal something. Your authentic, authenticity, okay? They wanted to be like you, or they wanted to be put, put on a pedestal. They wanted to be praised like you, okay? They wanted people to worship them. See, they wanted their worship... They wanted people to worship them for the wrong reasons. Um, somebody's dealing with a damn Aquarius. Mm, or again, they were inspired by an Aquarius. Or right, somebody was inspired. Somebody was inspired. Okay, somebody was inspired to steal something because of how people looked at you or how people praised you or how people cared about you, how people love you. Um, how you got some type of fame or fortune or notoriety in some kind of way. Um, this person could be coming into your energy. They're rushing in quick. You're going to know who this is because they're going to be rushing in quick. And you got strong boundaries against them. Yeah, this is this damn king of swords. Go back and check out Pisces read. Okay, Scorpio? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Go back and check out um, Pisces read. This person's going to come rushing in. They've been rushing in here. They want to cut down your boundaries. They want to chop down your wood, literally. This person wants to bogart their way into your energy. See how they... See how he's literally coming in, drawing the sword, okay, cutting down the wood. Somebody wants to cut down your boundaries. It's almost like, 
Oh, these are your resources. This is what you're focused on. This is your career. Somebody wanted to cut down your career path, your obstacles, your things. So it might not be obstacles to you, but it might be obstacles to this person. If it's you got your head down working, you're maintaining, you're doing things, you got children, you got um, your love life, you got um, things going on. Noel? You got things going on. This person wants to come in and chop down your wood or chop down whatever you had going on. You're building something here. But see, to them, it's obstacles. It's stuff that's in the way that can wait. They feel like you, you're supposed to pay attention to them or give them some type of notoriety or something like that. So they want to chop down whatever it is that you had going on here so that they could get um, some type of blessing. They wanted you to bless them. So this person needs you to recognize them or needs you to be in their energy or, or needs to be in your energy in order for you to bless them. Yeah, and this person could be playing with a voodoo down. But all in reality, somebody here, they really can't touch you. you you're you shielded here by the divine, okay, um, Scorpio? Yeah, you're moving into karma waters here. This person is ignorant, okay? Excuse my language, but it's giving an energy of if you knew better, you'll do better here. You're a whole goddess. How did you think that you could come in and fuck with Scorpio if you were getting blessings from Scorpio or being around Scorpio? How does that make sense? Please tell me how. Okay? But whoever this is here, they wanted to um, live off your name or, or live off your notoriety. Something that you, you were blowing up. You were doing something. Something was going tremendously well for you until this person came in and have strength. It will continue. It will continue. Things will be put back on um, the right path here because you're both you're courageous. You're constantly pushing forward here. This person can't stop you. They're um, miserable. Somebody's actually very miserable because they failed. Yeah, you're vic you're you're having victory. You're victorious, sweet victorious. Yeah, yeah, sweet victory. Page of Pentacles. This person's at a page. Constantly revest in, in um, this person lost all their money. Okay, they're constantly are they're investing into somebody else with money. Okay, um, ten of swords. This person could be trying to ten of swords you, and they're investing in like they're co collaborating. Or this person only a page. Like this is all they have to their name. Um, but they're they're giving to somebody. So somebody's at the seven. Okay, somebody's at the seven. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, is that the same? Oh, yeah, they watch you. Who the fuck is this King of Pentacles? Let's see. Now we finna dig and see who they are. Because they, they all in Scorpio's energy, too. Let's see. Yeah, to put you out in the cold. Somebody's trying to watch and see how to put you out in the cold. This could be, like, how to lose your home. Um, okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm going to try to hurry up because the batteries keep dying. Hey, Stop slamming the damn phone down. Um... Uh, <laughs> But, so basically, somebody's trying to knock you off your square. Um, have you left out in the cold, lose your job, or lose your home here? Um, and they want this Nine of Pentacles person, um, Nine of Cups person that's going to present you some type of offer. They want you to, they want this person to go towards the Jezebels. Okay, they want this person to go towards the Jezebels to the third party energy. That is the plan here. So, if they could fuck up what you got going on this marriage or whatever they want somebody to look at you as poor unworthy or um don't have something i don't know they don't want they don't they don't they want to take your relationship or they want they don't want you to be happy they don't want you to get married and all that other shit the moon so this is somebody here you you find out something there's they, okay you know who the fuck this um this king of pentacles is that they collaborating with I'm here meet and greet. Somebody met up, like literally chatted over the internet or some type of social media and met up at a cafe or somewhere out in public here with a fucking king of sword. This is so weird. You got two men coming out with having dinner and shit, meeting together and shit, trying to come together on how to um give you an offer to collaborate with you or to fuck you over or some kind of way. You somebody paid somebody or, or these motherfuckers sat down and had dinner or, or, or some weird ass shit I met and had coffee and discussed you over um something here trying to girl girl what the fuck is it? ace 
so cuz somebody so damn weird they giving and receiving they giving what the fuck is they giving they giving to each other a tickle 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 me ammo somebody doing some weird ass shit giving and receiving apology high priestess empress ace of wands nine of wands and the, so somebody wants to some type of giving and receiving what a uh but somebody wants to come in and give you an apology and act you know towards you you're this high priestess empress they want to come in towards you and, and start something new with you and then be be the knight of wands and have you heartbroken this is what they wanted or this is what they want here let's get zodiac sign what zodiac sign is this damn um what's the zodiac sign for this king of swords this king of swords came out in pisces yeah and i just seen pisces Who's this, the, um, who's this King of Swords? Gemini. Gemini. Emphasis on the Gemini and Capricorn. They got those highly expected. Who is the King of Pentacles here? Scorpio. It came out over here. So, this King of Swords, this could be the, okay, the King of Wands could be the King of Pentacles. They could be the same person, but they could be in different energy. Somebody's a ship. A ship shaker, uh, ship, y'all know what I'm trying to say, shit, um, and the, the, um, king of swords here is a, is a, another person that is trying to come in and give you an apology, Gemini, Scorpio, um, Capricorn, I said Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, I'm here in reverse territory. Some somebody got rejected here. Somebody thought thought you were their territory or something like that, Scorpio, and they got rejected. I, I kind of want to dig some more. Damn. Mm mm mm. What do this? What do this? What do this King of Pentacles do for a living? What do they do for a living? Work with special ed adults. Pay to ooh baby. Pay to talk shit and stalk. That's who the fuck this King of Pentacles is. Walmart could be significant. Works with special ed adults. Somebody in their family could be special ed. Lawyer. Somebody could be a lawyer or was a lawyer. Somebody lost a job here and got fired. Uh, work from home. DoorDash. This keeps flipping out over here. Comedian. Restaurants, caregiver, hospital, a trainer. Okay, could be significant here. We got landlord as well. Okay, call center, cooks, uh, construction workers. So any one of those could be significant here. We also got delivery person. This could be like Amazon, uh, DHL, um, whatever, UPS. Um, I don't know. It could be either one of these. This, this, this. High power stand. telling me. I don't. I don't know. For some of y'all, this is the same person, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. For some of y'all, these are three different people. The King of Swords and the King of Pentacles met up together, but then you got a King of Wands here who. Thought that they were your, your divine counterpart who you're supposed to be with here. Maybe this king of wands thought that they were going to be the king of pentacles here. That's why we got giving and receiving. They all giving and receiving. Um, They all got their hand in some shit. And your demise some kind of way. They want to be stingy about you moving into karma waters. They all don't want you to move into karma waters. Conversation here about rebuilding with the high priestess. Oh, high priestess empress. Or do they know who is coming towards you? It's a wand. I don't know. Yeah, 
somebody was the knight of wands somebody here was the knight of wands in the past this this person is just being looked at as the six of swords this could be somebody that's moving you to come of water okay this could be somebody that's moving you into come of water scorpio conversation rebuilding somebody wants to have a conversation with you about rebuilding what the fuck is this he wants to have a conversation. Somebody dealing with a Virgo. And somebody be watching your TikTok if you're on TikTok. Somebody be watching your videos over and over. Um, Six of Cups, Seven of Wands. Somebody's choosing to defend you here. And they got these other people in their head. Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Because they like you. And you and and you're you're gonna reject them. Or somebody's rejecting a Queen of Wands, an offer from a Queen of Wands. Whether if it's not your TikToks, it's your videos, it's your pictures, it's something here. Somebody's watching you over and over again. Yeah, somebody is fucking obsessed with you being the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Being radiant. Death. It says death magician three of wands. Death magician three of wands, page of wands, the tower. Queen of Cups came at the end, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Cups. Yeah, it's, been, it's gonna be an end to some type of magic here. Some magic has been, something, something. Somebody been doing some hocus pocus, and this could have something to do with your career. That's why it's coming out with finances. It could definitely well have something to do. You got men that were jealous of you on top, okay? I'm getting specifically men. Now, they could be women, too. But I'm getting like men were jealous of a woman being on top here. And that's why we got the tower with the queen of cups. And you are all but loving, nice, caring, nurturing. Wheel of, uh, Wheel of Fortune, this is what you were. See, so now somebody's going to be destined. Or this relationship is destined to happen here. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, something's destined here. This Two of Cups, the Sun, Happiness, Six of Swords. I feel like you're going to be very sneaky about this. You're not even going to tell anybody who you're dating, what you're doing, how you're moving. Like, you're going to be very quiet, determined. Ooh, there go that King of Cups. Or there is somebody that's determined here. King of Cups, the Emperor, Judgment, Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person going to be a gift. Like, once you make your mind up that this person is a gift here... Or once you decide that this person is a gift, like once something moves forward to be a gift, and some of y'all, like I said, you dealing with a cancer here. Once this get the the ball get the rolling here, um, that you you know you're for certain, like oh yeah, I love this person. I feel like I want to marry them. I want to be with them forever. This is gonna be your embryo divine counterpart here. Um, judgment is gonna be called. You guys are gonna get married here um, and live happy ever after. This person is going to be that gift here. Um, hang man, you're gonna realize that. And then with the world, there, this cycle is going to be ended out. And, um, yeah, um, there's going to be some type of um, commitment here. There's going to be continuous. This is not This is. This is not like breaking up, separation, none of that. This is like forever and never and never and ever and ever. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, heartbroken. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Talk to me, baby. 
Yeah, these these motherfuckers gonna be mad. Yeah, so you got a queen, a king of wands out here. A queen of wands could be in your energy too, but you got a king of wands out here. Um, that was like kind of lusting over you, wanted to be with you or whatever, thought that you were theirs. That 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 oh yeah, that's mine forever. Blah blah blah. They no. Now then you got a king of swords here that's walking around trying to be very fucking strategic on how to cut you, how to come in and knock down whatever you got going on so you can pay attention to them get some type of reaction out of you and then they're collaborating with a king of swords who they could have paid to come in towards you or to look like as if this person has some type of money. all these motherfuckers getting karma rather look like they have some money or they they have something going on here um but all in reality this person didn't and then you got this six of swords like literally this person is so humble i feel like this is because somebody is moving strategically like they're moving so quietly. Like, somebody is so humble. They only coming out as the six of swords, literally. Because this person is going to be the one that's going to move you into calmer waters while all this bullshit is going on. Like, literally. Like, it's going to be a lot of bullshit going on at one time. Court cases. Dates. Um, documentaries, I'm hearing. Something like that. Um, and this person is going to move you to calmer waters. But that is all I have for you, Scorpio. Thanks for chilling with your girl. Things are going to get serious here, so pay attention. Okay, because it's going to happen fast. I'm getting, like, very fast energy as I start talking fast. It's going to get overwhelming as well. Pay attention. Um, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has touched you energetically any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Find me till next time. Mwah.